In this video we will show you how to make a Modbus TCP connection with Indusoft SCADA software. What I have here is a pasted picture out of one of tech notes showing the tag database showing uh, driver and it shows how we get information from PLC or other devices our tag database. Actually from outside world tags are, are all internal and where we get them information through the driver. I'm just uh, using this as an example to talk about how the information gets in. Now I'm going to open project to show you how it is easy to, to get the data from over Modbus RTU into our SCADA system which is Indusoft. And it doesn't matter if you receive this data through wireless, for example from Zigbee or anything else. As long as it is Modbus RTU, it's very easy to get your data here. As an example, I have created a very simple screen here and for add a driver in our project explorer here there is a tab for communication and here you can add drivers. If you just click on driver, you can insert your drivers and as you can see many driver you have here. It could be a very specific driver based on a very special brand or product or it could be general like for example Modbus RTU as you can see I have selected here whatever you like you can find it here and you can just select it depend on the license you have you can have multiple driver or only just single driver for your uh, Indusoft Web Studio and for this example which I have created I've used this uh, Modbus protocol RTU as you can see if I go here there is a main a driver sheet for this driver and here easily you can configure and set up your communication with the PLC or any other data which receives from out of the SCADA. Simply I have created a very simple tag which is a digital input. I have simulated here to one of our modules which just to show you how easy it works. If you just click on this Modbus setting here you can also and modify and set up other com configuration for your uh, Modbus protocol. For example, to select the COM port, which you receive data in your PC and moderate and different things. I go back to this screen. Here I have very simple circle and I'm going to show you how this, how the color of this circle can be changed by the data which we receive through uh, Modbus RTU. And here also we can see the, the, the value changes. I'm going to run it here. Go to the runtime. Okay, I just simulate. And as you can see, the color is green when this input, uh, digital input signal is one. And when I turn it off, the color will go back to red, as you can see. And if I go back to, to the development here, again, I will turn digital input on and as you can see the value is changed to 1 and when I turn it off the value is going back to 0 and this is the tag which I created if I go back to the main driver sheet you can see it's very easy to configure this communication in this table I just put the tag name this is the station address of your uh, remote I.O. device or Modbus slave and this is the I.O. address and because this is digital input the I.O. address would be 1x uh, column 1. This is for example digital input the address 1 in, in your Modbus uh, registers and you can just read it and for creating a tag here if you just go to the project Explorer in the global tab here you can easily create it what you like and uh, for example this is the tag which I have created before Modbus digital input 0 which shows the channel 0 of our digital input module. You can easily insert more tags and it could be integer, uh, boolean, real, string and here in main driver sheet you can easily connect them to your uh, Modbus network and receive data from PLC or any devices outside. Okay, thank you very much for your interest in Indusoft.